Hi guys, this is Ron from Icebox Auto here today. I'm just going to show you another install we've done, which is on a Lexus RX 300. Uh, this is our big whopping Tesla screen type system, which I think is about 12.1 inch screen if I'm not wrong. But as I say, this has gone in. So this frame here obviously comes with the screen, but it is also available and they call it a peach wood, which is like a different, like a wood effect sort of thing. So you do, if you do have a uh, a different colour dash in terms of the silver then obviously you go for the other style I think it's got like the same model more hyphen one on the end of it uh, so yeah so obviously two different types of frame colours on there so basically what you see is what you get all these buttons here obviously your volume buttons and you, you, this is obviously your seat buttons and obviously you're using the likes of uh, radios and stuff uh, it does work with the steering wheel controls as you can see not, well you can't see me doing it in the background but you can see it working on the screen there uh, it works with the skip buttons and also um, so <coughs> This is our Android system, which uh, I believe to be, um, I think it's Android 13, I'll have a check on the website, but uh, it's just being updated here, and this is the main homepage to it. Uh, so, your heaters, uh, because they are removed from the car, uh, they do become touchscreen. Also, you get some physical buttons down here, which obviously control other things like your heater window, back window, front window. Uh, circulation, AC, heaters up and down, fan speed there, uh, off hazard buttons, as you can see the hazard buttons, you can hear them in the background working, uh, just to show you the heaters going up and down, as you can hear them going up and down. Also you've got this touch screen thing here, one second, let me just see if I can get it up, in seconds. So you've got this touch screen panel here, so obviously you can also press the touch screen, and uh, also the likes of the AC, all these type of works down here. But I also have to touch these buttons here. You can also see physical buttons will adjust these time settings and these buttons work too. Now you do have to remove the old circuit board from the back of the old AC panel. Uh, so when you are removing the uh, the original radio you will have a, like a metal section at the back where your AC panel goes in and a little ribbon cable comes out of it. So you have to obviously remove that, take the circuit board out and then put it over onto the back of our panel, get the circuit board and reattach it back to the original parts of the car. Uh, we'll send a video over to how to do that anyway. So um, so yeah, so this is the home page here. So as you can see, it's got some time settings here. It's got the temperature here. These are like an online map. This, this so you will have to give it an internet connection to keep that time there and gives you locations and stuff. Uh, so you've got some shortcuts here, which will take you through to the, as you can see, this is the Google, uh, it's got Google Maps built into it. Um, so this is an internet app, so obviously uh, you will need to put a data connection with it, i.e. Uh, hotspot on your phone, or alternatively it does come with a SIM card holder, so you can put a SIM card into it too. If you don't want Google Maps, you can simply download like some Waze and stuff like that, and Copilot, TomTom, from the Play Store, and then you can reassign it to... You can reassign it to there in settings, so obviously if you've got a preferential map that you want to use, uh, just change it in settings once you've downloaded it and then you can use that. Uh, compass, um, not going to see it working because the car's not moving. If you do hear any background noise in the background, just our engineer fitting the, uh, uh, a rear camera to the car, it's just finishing off the install. So you've got these uh, shortcut icons across here. So you've got your navigation, which I just showed you. There's your radio interface here. It will show you station names, as you can see, PS Capsule there. Uh, let me just lower it down with the steering wheel controls. Uh, so obviously that's your radio, FM, AM. It's got loads of presets on there too. Uh, going back to the home page, there's your music. So if you've got any uh, films or movies you want to put onto a USB pen, uh, probably up to 128 gig it'll take. You can plug it into the USB cable that comes with the system. We put it in a glove box. And then you can play your music through there. Obviously, it's not going to show you much other than a demo. This is just a demo app which, uh, which is on the system. Let's go to the video, see if there's a demo video on there to show you. Hopefully, there is. Sometimes the fact you should put a demo one on there just to show you what it looks like. So, obviously, that's your um, just a little demo video showing you. Looks like it's too fast and furious. So, that's if you want to put the movies on there. So this one here, the Car Auto, is uh, this is the CarPlay Android Auto app. As you can see, I've, for the purpose of the video, I've preloaded uh, the CarPlay app, which is I've linked my Apple phone through Bluetooth. It links through Bluetooth, and then goes over to Wi-Fi on your phone, and then you get your wireless connection there. These are just apps come over from your phone. This is a good thing if you want to use like the Siri or the Google Assist. So when you're driving, you can say Siri, take me here. Um, obviously, it brings over any music apps, uh, text messaging apps, phone apps. Uh, and stuff like that. I can't do anything like Netflix, YouTube on that. You do have to go back to the Android interface, which is there, uh, and you can watch YouTube and Netflix on this this interface here. 
Uh, Bluetooth. Um, okay, sorry, I've got that. Sorry, the, if you're not going to connect it to CarPlay or the Android Auto, you will have a Bluetooth interface which takes you to the Android interface. Uh, you can't see it because I've already connected the uh, phone to it. So you've also got Explorer there, which is just a browser. Uh, music online, online video. Never really used this app. Let me have a little look. Okay, so obviously when you put on, you can probably put uh, YouTube onto the homepage that way. Simply just download it. Once you've downloaded it, it'll come onto this this um, in this list here. And then you can assign it over to there. It's not being assigned because we haven't done it yet. So your console uh, gives you some information from the car's computer. Uh, just for example, gives you the instant fuel, gives you the fuel history. It's not going to have none because the car hasn't moved since we installed it. We have some car settings here. Now we have to be that careful about because we've got a lot of people who are asking, has it got this in the menus? Has it got this in the menus? And you may have like 99% of the cars covered from the original radio and you might just have one thing that's missing. So in regards to getting a inkling into what it's got on the menus, I suggest you look at this. I'll just slowly zoom down on it so you can see exactly what it's got. Okay. So there's your TPMS into. Okay, so this basically if the car's got original TPMS, uh, then you can link that to it there. Now I will be, be honest with you, the TPMS, it can be a little bit funny sometimes connecting there, so we would never guarantee that it works, just as a worst case scenario. Uh, we have seen them working in some cars and not in others, so we always say just cater for the, the for the worst case scenario and get you this, get yourself the Android TPMS just in case. Uh, there's your amp info there, so obviously if your car's got amplifiers you can tune here through that for the settings obviously just a little few settings you can have a little look through here probably too for it's not my car so I'm not too familiar with the back menus and stuff like that but as you can see that one there okay so just going back onto the home page here um, so we'll just go continue on here so you got your file manager so that's pretty much good for if you want to put third party apps on there, it's pretty good for doing that. So if you've got IPTV and you can't get it on the Play Store, you can do it through there. You've also got music streaming, so if you're old fashioned and you want to stream your music through there and you don't want to use the car plat, you can use that app. Again, it's not going to show you what the real interface of that is because it's uh, the car place gone through the Bluetooth. Uh, auxiliary, so if you want to link anything with the uh, RCA cables, so for example TV boxes and stuff like that, you can link in through this app here. Uh, let's have a little look at anything else on there. Here's your settings app. A lot of these customised apps basically just means you can put your own apps onto the home page, so you have to go into the menus to find it. So I'll just give you a little look of what they've got on the general settings. So let's have a little look at that. We'll put that on auto for the customer just so it changes colour. So this will go to a dark background in the later on in the day when you, your headlights go on and stuff like that. So obviously when your time settings goes to a certain setting and it goes into nighttime mode you get a back, back, uh, black background so obviously daytime mode white which you've just seen it but as you can see I've just changed it over so it's just changed it there okay you got that there's your audio settings there's your uh, equalizer settings there let's go back one oh, there's the back button there Get your sound gain this is obviously customized certain modes of the system you got your echo cancellation here, so if you're getting any echoes with your phone calls, so any people on the other end can hear themselves when you speak, you just adjust them settings. Here's your video settings here. So this video motion just allows the system to work when your car's moving in terms of videos. Now, don't recommend you watch when you're driving, but if you've got passengers, kids in the car who are screaming, and you've got your eyes fixed on the road, then you can put that setting on. If you put if you switch it on, then you're not going to get any uh, viewing screen on the videos on there. I'll just say uh, what can't watch while you're driving. If you switch it off, then obviously you can do that. Some user settings there, some sister settings. So this one here, uh, this you don't really need to go into this, but sometimes you do. Sometimes you have to change the canvas on it. So depending if your car's got a navigation or the basic radio, then you just need to adjust that. So if your car's got navy, it will need to be on high. If you've got a basic radio, it needs to be on low. But I wouldn't change anything else other than there. So temperature display, factory amp, reverse mute, radar sound. Put that on right on drive for the customer. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you, the last thing I'm going to show you, is the, uh, the application page where all your apps go into. Uh, which is this here so this is where every app uh, that the system's got will go into here so this is all the prefixed ones that you get when the system's being installed first day around 
um, I've gone through most of them anyway and also if you log into your Play Store which is this one here then you'll be able to download any apps and then they would go onto this this section here so obviously that's pretty much it yep so I think that's pretty much it guys so if you've got any questions give us a shout we'll put our contact details down below uh, we'll put the link to the product on our website also we'll take you straight there um, and we, if you've got any questions give us a shout hope to see you soon bye bye